Hello everybody and welcome back to Cahors Sunset and I am going to continue playing and continue my life as Valentin Puget. Uh, let's see, I'm going to, yeah, let's see, opt for public transport instead of using your own car, visit your daughter Lily in Marseille, or visit Pauline at the, oh, so she did pass away. Oh, that's sad. Um, let's, let's visit my daughter Lily. I want a bet! Yay! So my money went up as well, that's good. Oh, everything's back up in the green. Good. Two years later, like your brother, you were 21 years old when you married Pauline. Once again, the entire Puget family reunited for one more grand celebration. Aww. August of 1962, a failed assassination attempt is made against President Charles de Gaulle. Alright, so should I go to a Charles Aznavour sir? Go to your grandson's graduation or discuss with the opposing team's fans at a stadium? Um... Let's go to my grandson's graduation. You could not sleep because of noise from your neighbor's house. See? The hullabaloo. It's the hullabaloo. All right, my money went down into the red, but everything else is still green. At first, you and your wife lived with your brother and his wife in your parents' house. However, it wasn't long before Jacques and Judith bought a nearby house for themselves. All right, so should I read the newspaper, travel to Tullio's, or deny the invitation of a friend to go to Paris? Um... Let's travel to Tullios. A priest in the Cathedral saint Etienne has blessed you. Okay, so I got them all. That's nice. Good. My physical health is skyrocketing up. That's good. Uh, later that year came your turn to, with the help of your father Nicholas, buy a house for you and Pauline. The whole family continued to live in cobblers. All right. Visit a friend at the hospital. Smoke a cigarette. I quit cigarette smoking, so no. Uh, clean your house. Um, let's visit a friend in the hospital. A good friend is very sick. Well, that would explain going to the hospital. Um, alright. So now my mood has gone down into the red as well. So my mood and my money are roughly the same. At that time, the money you earned from working at the winery wasn't enough to keep you and Pauline out of debt without the financial support of your father. However, Matteo helped you by offering a job as his assistant in the accounting office where he worked. The money wasn't much, but it was enough to pay the bills. In November of 1962, an agreement is signed between Britain and France to develop the Concorde supersonic airliner. Alright, so should I read a newspaper, visit a museum, or travel to Bordeaux? Um... Uh, let's... Let's read the newspaper. You tripped and fell into the floor in Point... Aw, uh, in Pont... Valentre. I, I was saying point, but it's pont, because I'm an idiot. But I think it roughly means the same thing, if I'm not wrong. Uh, let's see, let's go. Uh, three years later, in perfect harmony, Cahors continued to thrive, just like you and your loved ones. Alright, so, let's see. Go to a football game, watch the movie Plan Soleil, or work in a temporary job. Um... Let's go to a football game. The queue was long at the bakery. Ah, oh, well there goes my friggin' ah. Somebody's added me to my friend list. That's good, but you didn't need to pop up. Oh god, happy birthday! Unfortunately, I take I lost five points in all my attributes. So now I gotta watch because every year it's probably gonna you lose another point. So let's see. Start a new hobby. Read more or go to bed earlier. Um. Let's. Oh, man. Do I want my mood to go down? or my No, my social life can take a hit. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to read more. Uh, in 1920, the tension between France and Syria was growing. Syria wanted to become an independent monarchy, and the French authorities were against the claims of the Asian country. In January of 1963, Elysee Treaty, signed by Charles de Gaulle and Conrad Adenauer, for, for reconciliation between the two countries. With it, Germany and France re are established a new foundation for relations that ended centuries of rivalry between them. All right, visit the Hotel de Rhodes, uh, visit, make a deposit for your son Nicholas, or watch the movie Les Doulos. Uh, let's do that. Your medicines had an increase in pro- oh, crap. Well, attention, you are at risk of death when your attributes fall below 25%. But wait! Wait just a second. 
How is my money falling below 25? Okay, I need to increase my money. Jacques was called back to into service and went to Syria to help contain the rebellion and to impose French order in the country. Um, so my money needs to go up, so I'm going to have to choose not to do that. Uh, your son Nicholas paid me a visit. Good! Good, finally, everything went up. God, I almost died from money. I don't know how I died from money, but... In July of 1920, Jacques died in the Battle of Marciane. Aww. March 1963, in Paris, six people are sentenced to death for conspiring to assassinate President Charles de Gaulle. De Gaulle pardons five of them, but the other conspirator is executed by firing squad a few days later. So now your friend has passed away. In, in your past, basically. Um, so, let's see. Go to the bakery. Oh, no, that wasn't your friend. That was your brother. Never mind. Uh, go to the bakery, go to mass, or offend an old enemy on the street. Um, my social life can take a hit, so I'm going to do that. A song that you hate played on the radio. There went my mood again. Ooh, this is getting hard. Immediately after the death of Jacques, his widow Judith returned to her own town of Avignon. Your parents were devastated, and soon after the death of Jacques, your mother Juliet fell ill in her depression and died at the end of the same year. Aww. Uh, choose to watch TV instead of going to the stadium to see the Tulios FC football match. Choose not to travel, or choose, or go to a Henry Tizzo show. Okay, so I need to save some money. Um, and this is the best choice, because it's going to save me money and help my anxiety a little bit. So I'm going to do that. The Tulios FC lost to Bordeaux, so there went my mood. Oh, boy. Please tell me that I'm not going to, like, commit suicide or something. Your father, Nicholas, had a son, had lost a son and his wife in the same year. Although still young, the impression is that your father aged over 20 years during this time, having gained features typically of the elderly. Um, let's see. What do I need to do? I need to increase my mood. So I need to go to... I need to go to Paris. I went to bed late. Ugh. Oh my god. Um, every time I increase my mood, I do something stupid and I screw up. Uh, however, there was still joy in the life of Nicolas Puget. As years later, he got to experience the birth of his first two grandchildren. Oh, that's nice. Visit your son Nicholas and Tulios. Uh, go to a dance club. Okay, so my money will go down, but my... Oh, this is best. Yes. A loved one is in the hot... God damn it. Uh, uh-oh. I am very bad with the moodness now. First came Jean, uh, or Jean, your eldest son with Pauline. A year later came Lily, your daughter. The children were a joy and inspiration for your father. Um, I need to increase my mood. No, that's not happening. Uh, make a good dinner or visit a friend. Oh, boy. Well, either one of these, which one's going to be the best for everything? My social life doesn't really need... Let's do that. Make a good dinner. You found an old photo. Pl good. Good. Uh, of course, my money is now dropping, so... Just as Gene started to take his first steps alone, a strong tuberculosis began to affect his grandfather, Nicholas. It was a painful experience for you and Pauline, and tragically, your father died a few weeks later. Oh, I'll say. So, should I do that? Should I sell my car, which will decrease my mood, which is not something I want to do? God dang it. Um, I'm going to deny the invitation to go to Paris. Uh, Tulios FC won... Good! There goes everything back up again. My social life is taking big hits, but you know what? I'm old, I don't need friends. <laughs> the pain of your father's death was softened by the joy of raising your children. Pauline always gave you a great support in your darkest hours and became sweeter every time life became harder. Aw. Uh, visit your son, Jean, in Bordeaux. Receive your... Oh. Why would that decrease my mood? I'm confused by that. Go to a cafe with Matteo. Um, well, I need to increase my money just a little bit, so I'm going to have to receive my... Oh, I went to bed! Oh, yay! Okay, good. Things things are good. My anxiety is good, at least. Okay, things... I'm not going to die yet. Uh, the years passed in a continuous and accelerated flow. Jean and Lily began to walk, to talk, to read, to write, and to make friends. Aw. 
Uh, let's see. Visit your father's relatives in Tulios, which will decrease my money, or go to the doctor, which will... N I'm never going to the doctor, apparently, because it's just going to destroy everything. Let's go to Pont Valentre. Uh, my daughter Lily paid me a visit. Oh, there goes all my stuff back up again. Good. John was now a handsome 14-year-old boy with his father's dark hair, yet curly like his mother's. He was an extremely serious and responsible young man, a trait he had unknowingly inherited from his grandfather, though sweet and gentle like his mother. This is a sweet story. It really is a sweet story. That's the reason, like I say, that's the reason why I play games like this. Uh, visit the church of St. Bartholomew, paint a picture, or make a savings deposit in the bank. I don't really want to take a hit there. But, um, you know what, let's paint a picture. A cousin presented you with a fine cognac. Okay, there goes my physical health a little bit, <laughs> my weight a little bit, but uh, everything else seems to be okay. Lily, 12, was almost the same height as her brother and had a strong temperament that reminded you of Jacques. She was often involved in fights at school and had a habit of being extremely obstinate. All right, request a friend to lend you money. Um, complain about your neighbor's children's hullabaloo or choose not to eat the cake that your daughter brought. Um, let's complain. An economic situation is improving. That's good. Okay, good. Things are going into the red because six points go- Oh, God, I'm 69 now, though. So, let's see. Uh, stay at home more frequently, which will increase my money and decrease my social life. Spend more time with my children, which will increase my mood. Try to find a new love. Let's do that. Around the around this time came a pleasant surprise. Pauline was pregnant again. It was then that Nicholas was born, inheriting the name of his deceased grandfather. In January of 1964, France and the People's Republic of China announced their decision to establish diplomatic relations. Okay. So should I visit Pauline at the cemetery, which will decrease my mood, buy a new car... Or go to a Sylvie Varton show. Um, well, I just... I, I found a new love. And that's going to destroy my money, though. Let's visit Pauline. Matteo asked you to go out... To, okay, so I had dinner, and I lost some money anyway. So I'm down to 26 with my money. I hope I don't die from money. I don't understand how I'd do that, but... You worked all day in the office with Matteo. The company grew, and with it, your responsibilities and duties. At this time, Matteo was already head of the whole sector and had five children with Margot. In February of 1964, Taiwan drops diplomatic relations with France because of French, re French recognition of the People's Republic of China. Now, that's a, whole, that's a whole bag of things. If you want to look into that, there's a whole st bunch of stuff that happened then, and it's, it's really hard to go into. Uh, choose not to drink wine with my dinner. Um, choose to go to a, that or go do exercises. That won't affect my money at all. It will affect my mood, but it'll increase everything else. Uh, that will decrease my mood and my... Uh, let's choose not to drink wine. A uh, song that you like played on the radio? Oh, that's good. Okay, so my money is the thing I have to watch this time. Pauline ran the household while you worked. She did so with such a tenacity that showed how truly happy she was to be at home with her family. The routine of having a baby at home again was an unexpected joy. All attention was directed to little Nicholas. All right. Uh, travel to Kim. Uh, let's go. Let's do this. Uh, loved one is in the hospital. That's not good. Okay, well, my money's gone up because I didn't do something... Okay, so, around you and your family, the town of Cahors was growing exponentially. New residents arrived at a swift pace, and with them came more local shops and tourists. Um... I don't want to pay an old debt, because that's gonna... Oh, boy. I gotta choose the thing that's going to decrease my money the, the least, which is watch the movie about De Souffle... Uh, and I want a small prize, yay! So there goes my money back up. That's good. I'm, like I said, this guy's gonna live to be 900 years old. Ten children, ten years had passed. Nicholas was still a child when he attended the wedding of his older brother. Jean had accepted employment with a bank in Bordeaux and took the opportunity to marry Julie Lemaire, whom he had been dating for many years, before moving to the famous town in the French West. 
In May of 1963, Mrs. Madeleine de Salt, 63, wife of a French plane manufacturer and politician, is kidnapped while leaving her car in front of her Paris home. She is found unharmed the next day in a farmhouse 27 miles from Paris. Alright, eat a delicious cake, enjoy the sunset, or buy a lotto ticket. Apparently the lotto ticket will give me more money. Uh, let's do that. A storm breaks out there. I don't know what that means, but I guess like outside, just like outside your house or something like that. Alright, so my social life and my money are down a little bit, but let's see. The following year, it was Lily's turn to leave home. She was set to work in Mar Marseille as an assistant in the city's cultural department. Lily at the time was dating another girl named Inez, but Inez chose to remain in Cahors. Thus, the affair between the two girls ended, much to the relief of Pauline, who disagreed with that sort of relationship. That's adorable that that happened, though, because that shows that there's even more of a layer to this family. Uh, let's see, tell a joke, go to an Edith Piaf show, or watch the movie last year in Marinbad. Um, let's tell a joke. Old workmates invited you out to dinner, yay! My money went down a little bit. I gotta watch that. Can't spend as much money! Valent Valentine or teen, or however the hell you pronounce your name. With the departure of Jean and Lily, the house started to feel a little colder and sad. However, the young Nicholas, now 11, was now in charge of keeping you and Pauline busy with his pranks. Alright, visit a loved one, take your meds, or watch television. Um... I don't want to lose money, though, that's the problem, because the money, like, I'm going to lose stuff there, but it's a little bit less of a hit, so I'm going to do that. It was written in the newspaper that the economic, okay, will improve, that's good. Okay, there goes my mood, my mood is awesome. I'm apparently a very happy old man, uh, with a good social life, but my money is dwindling. Uh, time always moves forward, regardless of our desires and fears. Nicholas now was 17 and had just been accepted into the prestigious college in Tulios. The moment that you and Pauline feared had arrived, now there would be only two of you in your house. Aww. Uh, read a good book, eat a good cheese, or watch the movie Pickpocket. Um, well, if I watch a movie, it seems to increase more things and decrease my money less. And that's what I gotta do, I gotta go with that. Uh, your son Jean paid you a visit? That's good. Okay, so, I'm in trouble now. Because my money has dropped to below 25, and I and apparently I'm at risk of dying. <laughs> I don't know why. At that time, Jean had his second daughter and earned a hefty salary in Bordeaux and helped out with his parents' expenses every month. That's good. Um, let's see. Um, that's going to take money away. Everything's taking money away. I can't do it. Um, I'm going to probably die from some sort of money thing. I don't understand how. Let's watch the movie. And I woke up late. My mood went up, but my physical health went down. Ugh, that's not good. My money has dropped to 20. That's not good. Lily was living with another woman in Marseille, Marie Gatier, a young actress. Lily was also the curator of several ex exhibitions in Marseille and the surrounding region. Okay, well, let's see. Smoke a cigarette? I don't want to do that. Uh, ooh, ooh, my money can go up. Ah, uh, my... <sighs> Hmm. I can take a hit in my mood. Uh, you're gonna. Ooh, that's good. Good. Okay, there goes my money back up over 25. I'm not gonna die for money again. Nicholas struggled the early months. In the early months, college. The courses were more difficult than he had imagined. Nevertheless, his desire to become an engineer continued undiminished. He studied harder for his tests, yet still returned to visit his parents and cowers whenever he could. All right. Let's see, I'm gonna lose money with these two, or I could just do this, and my social life will go down, because apparently I disagree with a lot of things, so let's do that. France lost to England in the World Cup. Ah! Why does that always happen? And why is my money always going down? Uh, over the years, you and Pauline have reached an intimacy that would never have been possible in the days of your youth. With no children in the house, you now have the opportunity to share everything as a mature couple. Oh, that's good. That is very good. Visit the Palais Duis, visit the College Pelgrí, or sell an old radio. That's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to do it. It's a beautiful sunny day. Good. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Um, I am 70 years old, and I've lost seven points. Uh, lose weight. 
uh, go to church more often or ride my bike. So I need to do something that will increase my money. But that's apparently nothing here. Um, uh, I need physical health as well and weight. Uh, let's ride my bike more often. You and Matteo had a great feast to mark your mutual retirement that had intentionally been planned for the same day. Many of your friends and colleagues were present. It was a great day for the two of you. In January of 1963, the launch of the Renault 16, the world's first production hatchback car. Oh, that's nice. Uh, opt for public transport instead of using your own car. Buy clothes or visit your old Uncle Pierre at the asylum. I don't think I'm going to do that. Um... I think I'm going to opt for public transport. I'm going to do that. Someone made a malicious joke about you. Great! Uh, my money has gone down below 25, but everything else is still hovering. So I'm hoping. Uh, every Sunday, you and Pauline went to Mass at the Cathedral saint Etienne. Over the years, Pauline no longer showed the boredom she had always felt at Mass. She was more passionate and aware of the service like never before. Uh, visit your daughter Lily in Marseille. Ask for financial assistance from your son John or read this week's magazine. Um, I don't... Re oh. Um, it's going to take money away, though. I got to ask for financial assistance from Jean. I went to bed late. Oh, everything went over 25, though. That's good. In 1957, Margot, wife of Matteo, died of a sudden illness while shopping at a market. She was hospitalized, but had cardiac arrest and did not resist. Uh, I go to a Dalida show. Do not pay a tax or gardening. Um, let's garden. The Tulio's FC lost to Bordeaux. No! Well, okay. I'm still, I'm still up there, though. That's good. Uh, when you reach a certain age, death becomes more easily understood, but overcome. The, uh, wait, understood and overcome. The pain is not shorter, but the anger is. It was around this time that Pauline started complaining about pain for the first time. Oh, no. Clean your house, stay at home instead of going out, or watch the movie La Canelichule. Um, God, I can't. I, that's going to take a negative five. Uh, I'll take a hit to the money. Uh, a dog bit me. That's definitely not good. Uh, it took months for the intestinal pain to intensify to the point that Pauline allowed you to seek out medical help. Since you had known Pauline, you could not recall... Her. Since you had known Pauline, you could not recall her having ever visited a doctor. Travel to Tulio's, visit your mother, or watch a movie. Um... Well, that's going to increase my mood a lot, so let's do that. Let's travel to Tulio's. Tulio's... Oh, that's good. Oh, good. My money's still up over 25 as well. Uh, after this next choice, I'm probably going to have to call it and do another video. You went to a doc... Oh no, a free game! Uh, you went after a doctor who had been a, a friend of the family for many years. Even though Pauline's situation wasn't his area of expertise, Dr. Rousseau, with a few minutes of consultation, already suspected that something very serious was wrong with his patient, and he advised the couple to go to an oncologist he knew in Bordeaux. Oh no, she developed cancer. Oh, that's not good. Um, choose not to go to the dance club. It's going to take a big hit to my everything. Um, this is the only thing that's not going to affect things, so I'm gonna do that. I woke up early! Yay! My mood went down. No, that's bad. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and call it there. I am 70 years old and 6 months. Uh, but I will, uh, uh, do another episode. I'll basically continue until the game ends or I die, which will probably end with my death anyway. Uh, but this has been Flog playing Cowhorse Sunset, and I hope that you guys are enjoying this, um, and I will see you guys in another video. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, subscribe, check out the game, and check out our Steam group for the giveaways and all the other stuff that we've got going on right now as well. So I will see you guys later. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching that video. Click in the upper left to subscribe, and then check out Among the Sleep. I got my shoe. Going to use it. After that, check us out on Google Plus and Twitter for all the new updates for the channel, and then check out Portal we 2. Gotta shoot the red one, I believe. So here I go! Also, make sure you click on the Brain and Behavior logo so that you guys can understand the charity drive that we're doing. Thanks, and goodbye!